that. <laughs> All right, guys, we are live. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Let's see who's jo joining us. We have 21 people following. If you guys want to put in the chat box here really quickly, where are you, where are you calling from? Just your first name, where are you calling from? And uh, where are you tuning in? Is it YouTube, Facebook? We want to know. We want to know where you following us, watching us. All right, we have some comments coming in. We have YouTube from <clears throat> Led here, following us from YouTube. Welcome, welcome. We have a welcome from Nathan. Welcome, welcome to the call, to the live. Welcome, guys. <clears throat> Let's wait a few more minutes, see if anybody else tunes in, and we'll go ahead and get get started. All right, we have people from Nigeria. Welcome, Michael. Welcome. Welcome to the call. We have Deepak from London from Facebook. Welcome. Welcome, guys. <clears throat> We have Alexander from Germany. We have <clears throat> Mr. Simpson from Destin, Florida. Welcome, welcome to the call. We also have Canada in the house. Leslie from Canada. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. Uh, looks like we have an all famer from Kevin David's course in the call from Texas. Welcome, Pure. We love to have experienced sellers on this call. That's great. We have Philippines in the house. That is awesome. Welcome, guys. <clears throat> all right, so we're going to slowly go ahead and get started and if uh, people start tuning in, we're going to give them a shout out as well. Uh, but <clears throat> once again, I want to welcome everybody to this uh, Kevin David training call with myself. Uh, and I'm going to be bringing up a really special guest speaker here today um, in a few minutes. But I just want to let you know uh, how the flow of the call is going to be. Uh, going so mainly we're going to be doing today Q and A's. Um, so if you have any questions regarding uh, Amazon or Zombies, uh, we want to focus on that. So um, we want to hear all your questions and hopefully answer them, uh, you know, <clears throat> as best possible we can uh, to your satisfaction. Uh, we're going to be also doing some giveaways today, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, you can actually get some of these cool shirts uh, from Kevin. Or if you want to learn a little bit more, we can choose from this unfair advantage, Kevin David's book, uh, where we're going to be giving away some money. So, you know, we uh, 
we'll give you some options. You can choose. Uh, we will do some trivia questions today and see um, some smart people on this call as well, see who's going to answer those the best. And then uh, once again, we'll do some giveaways, give some gifts away. And uh, But uh, let's do this. Uh, so first of all, uh, let me just introduce myself. That way you guys know who you're going to be uh, talking to and who's going to be hosting this call today. So my name is Chris. I am originally from Serbia. I moved to the United States in 2011. When I moved here, I had this big dream of uh, opening my own business, retiring my parents at a certain age, you know, putting my brother uh, through education, paying for his school. Um, a lot of those things didn't happen for me right away uh, because I had to work a nine to five job, right? I have to work for a big company and I had a good gig, right? I worked for a huge company called Nissan. I was in their finance department for long seven years, uh, which was great uh, because I was making good money, but I didn't have the time for myself. Um, I always had to ask for vacation time, you know, to fly home and see my parents. Um, out of those, you know, two weeks that they would give me, four days would take just on the on the flight over there. So I barely had ten days to spend with my, you know, family, and it's not the lifestyle that I that I really wanted. So fast forward, 2018, I started doing research online how to make money, um, you know, through online businesses, and I ran across Amazon FBA, and that's really where my you know journey started. So. That's a little bit about my uh, about myself. Uh, once again, I want to welcome everybody. Uh, I think I really want to thank you for you know sharing where you're calling from. This is really amazing. Um, but what I want to do is actually introduce our guest speaker right now. Um, so his name is Justin Ortel. Uh, he's been a business owner for long, fourteen years. Um, he's uh, been an Amazon seller for four or five years. Uh, but you know, without further ado, let me just bring him in. Uh, and then he can actually tell you about himself a little bit more. So, Justin, welcome. Welcome, guys. Um, yeah, Chris Chris gave a little bit of a background on me. I've, I've been a business consultant, business owner for the past uh, 13, going on 14 years now, uh, both in the brick and mortar and e-commerce space. Um, I've been on Amazon for the past four, uh, building out Amazon businesses and, and, and doing that for people. Um, I also run Zonbase's mentorship program and a lot of the operation side inside there. Um, so I, I've, I've been around the block. I am here to help everybody um, answer any kind of questions you guys got. If we want to go product research, um, you know, fairly, you know, typical Amazon stuff, uh, we can talk about that. Um, one of the big things I want to push to you guys is when you do your product research, find products that you can differentiate. That's where you're going to make some money at. Um, Me Too products, you might make some money in the beginning, but it won't last. Um, so that's my big upfront advice of the day. Um, if, if you guys want to start asking questions, I'll have Chris uh, keep an eye on the questions as we go. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to keep talking. Um, yeah. So before uh, we continue, I just want to let everybody know if you guys want to you know, see more of these uh, live calls, just make sure you push that notification bell uh, on your Facebook page or YouTube page. Uh, that way, every time we go live, you can just tune in and, uh, you know, watch us live. And we're going to have um, these calls every Thursday uh, moving forward, uh, 5 p.m. Central, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern, I believe. Am I right, Justin? Yep, 6 p.m. Eastern is our time. 6 p.m. Eastern. So, um, so yeah, let me just uh, go back to some questions. So, if you guys have any questions, feel free to start sharing them into the chat box. I'm going to, you know start reading them out and um, yeah Pierre private label is definitely the way to go um, but all right we have Nathan uh, hey Justin I need a relaunch do I still get the page one or is there another cheaper option? Page one is probably your best bet there, Nitin, unless, yeah, it's probably going to be your best bet. Uh, reach out to support and let me know what you're relaunching, and I'll take a look, and I'll, I'll give you a good uh, good advice there. But I'm probably going to tell you to go page one. Next question we have from Simo. How you can get started uh, drop shipping on Amazon for beginners? So drop shipping on Amazon is probably a no-go. Um, I am not a drop shipper by any means. I'm I'm a private label guy. Uh, drop shipping is technically against Amazon POS, though. 
<clears throat> we have a next question from Sharad. Uh, how do you start a business with very little money to no money? <clears throat> I mean, there, there's there's plenty of ways. You're not going to get into private label with with little to no money. However, retail arbitrage, uh, selling used books, there, there's ways to generate money using Amazon. Um, I, I've seen tons and tons of uh, um, people that that have built themselves up from you know being booksellers and retail arbitragers, and then get into wholesale and then end up in private label in the end. Um, so that would be my advice: is look at books and look at retail arbitrage in the beginning. All right, we have some other people tuning in from Morocco, Arkansas. Welcome, guys. That is uh, that is awesome. We have people literally all, all over the world. I love it. Uh, next question from Pierre. Uh, I would drop ship on Shopify, not Amazon. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely agree. Don't don't drop ship on Amazon. It, you're you're just asking to get your account suspended at some point in time. Um, yeah, there are plenty of people that are out there making money doing it. They will lose that all at some point in time. Build a legitimate business and 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 strive to make money over and over again, not just once. <clears throat> Come on, guys. I know there's more questions than that out there. Yeah. yeah. Keep the questions going. We have a lot of time. We have questions to cover. So don't be shy. Just put in the question. Um, if you don't want your Name pulled up on the screen. Just let me know, and I won't do it. I'll just <laughs> read the question out loud. <clears throat> All right, Kathy's asking, how much would you need to invest to get uh, started, roughly? Uh, the, the the best way that I can tell you, I mean, you can you're going to get a huge variety of answers here because it's going to depend on what kind of product you get and what kind of um, product you go after. Three to five thousand is is my typical. Um, starting amount for what i've told people i have seen people start as low as 500 but you really got to do a lot of due diligence with product research if you go that low <clears throat> next one from sherrod is it better to be an affiliate of amazon all depends on what your your long-term goals are i am not a huge affiliate guy um you can make a ton of money doing affiliate marketing though um, and Amazon is one of the ways to do that. Um, by all means, if, if that's that's for you, go for it. Um, any way that you can make money online is something you should should look at. Uh, but focus on one thing and go go after it. Is my my opinion. <clears throat> all right. So we have a question from here. Have you guys found a way to fast track the bench registry trademark approval process in the states, or it's still um, an eight month process? So typically it's name on process. However, once your trademark is pending, Amazon has been accepting those. So much, much quicker. All right, let's see if this is a question is very important, how to make money online for the beginners. So the, the best way in the beginning is, is taking, um, you know, go through and, and find a product and sell it but but make sure that when you're when you're going to look at finding a product that you find a way to change it look at what your your customer base wants and and what they're going after um if you look at all your competition who's selling that type of product and everybody's complaining about one thing change it um solve a problem for your market and you will be you will be set we have the next question from nathan is taking a brand route uh better than just launching more unrelated products there are two ways to look at that and there's two ways to build a brand as well um and this is this is going to go over a lot of people's heads this is me talking from a business consultant standpoint um you can build a brand around your product choices or you can build your brand around a movement um if you're going to do like unrelated products build your brand as somebody who is doing multiple products but has something behind it um you know excellent quality um stuff like that and you, you can build a brand with unrelated products that way as well but th there should be some kind of branding and you know facebook page and social media make sure you do it all all right we have a question from uh jefferson jefferson i signed up to join and i did everything needed but went to get a call back from the staff to continue the program i did not get one spoke to kevin and he said try back after the holiday which i did not succeed 
process? What should I do? Uh, Jefferson, email well, our support. Uh, I don't know if you're talking about Kevin's program or ours. Um, if you want to say that in the in the comments um, and let me know, I'll be able to give you a better answer. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> so from Oscar, how many products did you have on Amazon before the first one started making money for you? And how often do you currently refresh your product? You changed my, to another. My first product, I lost about 1,200 bucks on. Um, and that was because I, I launched into an extremely saturated niche and an extremely competitive niche. It, it doesn't work well that way. I was able to make a couple hundred on my second and by my third, I was, I was making good money. Um, I change my products when my numbers tell me to change the products. Um, right now I run five, five products on Amazon continuously. And then I have kind of two, two outlying products that I'll run. Um, as test products to see if I want to bring it into any of my sales channels. And then we have a question from Kathy. Uh, what type of license is needed for e-commerce? It's a state to state requirement. Um, some states require you to have a reseller's license. Some don't um, check with your, if you're LLC, check with the state that you're LLC in, but it, there's, it's not much if anything required. <clears throat> Next question from Simo. How long uh, how long the process takes to get started from the supplier to the customer? From the time that you order a product, um, if we're talking just, just ordering, you're, you can look anywhere between 7 and 30 days for a lead time for your manufacturer to process or to produce that product for you. Um, and then you're looking at 45 to 60 days en route from China to the U.S., and then you get to sell it on Amazon. Um, so you, you can be two, three months out. All right. Let's see what's next. All right. Here we go. Will zombies have services for EBC in the future? It's a good idea. I am looking at the possibilities of that, Lewis. But but I would say yes. I would say that is at, at some point in time we'll have to offer it. And then from Richard, we have Amazon sell everything online. How do we put a product on for sale if they already got it? Thanks. A lot of what Amazon sells online is sold by third party sellers. Um, you might not realize it when you buy it, but there's a good chance that it's a third-party seller. Amazon does have their their own, you know, Amazon Basics brand, and then they do wholesale a lot of stuff. Um, honestly, if, if you're trying to get into something that Amazon is wholesaling, I'd probably recommend against it. All right, we have uh, Jess on the call from Romeo. What is the very first step to start selling on Amazon? The first step is product research. You need to find a product that has good revenue with relatively low reviews, under 250-ish on a keyword. Um, the more you differentiate, the higher your review count can go, however, um, that, that has demand in the market. So you need search volume, you need revenue, and you need low reviews. Um, so those are the three things that you need to look for. That's that's where Zonbase comes in. We are a product research software um, that gives you the tools to look for those kind of products. Well, let's uh, let's do that. Let's maybe share your screen and show them how to do product research. And also we can uh, put in a link. So if Vivian or someone can put in a link for a free trial uh, call uh, that is actually done by me. Uh, if you guys want to learn on how to do product research, uh, you can sign up for those calls uh, and then I can definitely, you know, teach everybody how to do product research uh, on that introduction call for for Zombase. All right, guys. So, um, product research is, is where we want to start for your first step, and I'll go through this relatively quick, just so we don't tie up a bunch of time for questions. Um, Zod Research is our, our product research side. There's two ways to do it. There's product and there's keyword. I myself prefer keyword. Keyword gives me an entire page one look 
um, not just looking at one specific product. A lot of products, if they can be kind of outliers where somebody's pushing um, a lot of Facebook ads, Google ads, that kind of stuff, you know, for outside marketing. We do have presets. If you're going to use these presets, change them up a little bit. We don't want the, you know, if you're looking at the exact same numbers as thousands of thousands of other people, you're going to find the same products. But so change them up a little bit. Um, I like 25, like I said, 250 reviews. Don't be afraid to look at lower revenue items. Um, lower revenue items, they, they're not as well liked um, in this industry. I love them. Um, they, they're kind of, they have a lot less competition. There's a lot less people that go after them. And I don't mind making $4,500 on five of my products. It's 45 times five is, you know, a good chunk of change. Um, so what, what I'm looking for here is, is your search volume, your revenue, and your low reviews. Um, knives is probably something I'm not going to get into, but, you know, a translator device, air track tumbling mat. Um, these are super popular right now because of the pandemic. Um, poker tabletops, you can do some stuff with that. Um, but these are the things that you're going to want to come down, look at, and then go and um, do your due diligence and, and kind of going through everything to, to make sure that they are a, a fit for you. Like Chris said, jump on one of our training calls. We go at that much, much more in depth um, than what I just did. That was just a, a quick, here you here you go type deal. But that's that's got to be your first step. Yep. So if someone can, from the team can please share in the chat box the link to sign up for the free training call. Um, and then um, whoever signs up, just show up for the call. And I'll go into depth about how to do product research and how to use some of Zombase's uh, some basis services and tools that we offer. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we have here. We have a question from Dromar. Any alternative source of country other than Alibaba, China? So, so you can source from anywhere. Um, you know, we're we're in the middle of sourcing something out of Brazil right now for one of my companies. Um, you can look other places other than China. China is the, the number one spot to look for this kind of stuff because they do have Alibaba. Alibaba makes it very, very easy to find manufacturers. If you are willing to dig through Google and find custom manufacturing for the product that you want, you can find other places. Use Google, just custom manufacturing of whatever, pro whatever product you're looking for in said country. I like Nitin's comment, mindset. Yeah, guys, it's all about mindset. So if you have the right mindset for this business, uh, you will be definitely successful at it. So just yeah, shut, I, shut out all the negative stuff that the world is throwing at you. So I, I did a podcast the other day on almost this exact subject. Um, and we were talking about how there's such a huge mindset shift right now between the reliability of making money online versus the typical nine to five. And there's going to be a ton of negativity when you start getting into stuff like this. It can be done. I'm perfectly happy at home um, making money online. Uh, I run multiple businesses. I have transitioned brick and mortar stuff into e-commerce stuff. Um, but but people do get worried about that. And but just push them away. Just just keep the keep the positivity in your life. Adjust my lighting here. There you go. All right. Let's see the next question. What are the best sources to generate off Amazon traffic to your listing? So I love off Amazon traffic. Um, this, this is a huge question for me because I in, in our mentorship program, this is one of the things I teach is you should be pushing external traffic to your listings. Facebook. I agree. Google, Google ads, Pinterest. Um, if you want to get into TikTok, um, Clubhouse. Um, they're, they're all places that you can you can get your your stuff out in front of people now, and you should. Uh, certain products are going to fall more into certain niches where where Facebook might be better than Google. Um, other products, Google is going to be better than Facebook. Um, so you got to kind of look at your product and, and figure out where that that falls. Um, you know, we we we're big on Facebook. Uh, we run a lot of Facebook ads. We run uh, our social media has you know we post every day. Um, something about our product and not always about our product, something that might relate to our product. If, if, if you're in the baby niche, post about baby stuff. Uh, if you're in home and decor, post home and decor tips. 
it, it's, it really is that. It's just putting out content all the time. It'll really help you start pushing stuff and, and it'll make your new launches easier as well. Thank you, Justin. Uh, let's see here. So Oscar is asking, can we save this live for later? Um, I believe it's all saved uh, on YouTube and Facebook. Yes, this will be on both Facebook and YouTube. Um, and you know, we, like like Chris said, we're here every Thursday now. Um, we're going to get back into doing these. Um, I'm pretty sure Nitin asked earlier if this is kind of what we were doing with Drew. And it's going to be the same kind of concept, um, just on Thursdays instead of Wednesdays. Right, we have a question from Shay. For beginners, would you recommend uh, bundling on the first product or just launching a single product? So I am not necessarily a huge fan of bundling, unless your bundle solves a problem for the market. Um, I know bundling kind of gets pushed around a lot and uh, as a way to increase your value. But too many people I see just bundle to bundle. Take a look at other people's products and their three and four star reviews in those products and see what they're asking to go with it. If you bundle something like that, then yeah, you, you can increase your value and, and be able to sell it at the top of your page um, in the price range and, and still be successful. So that then I would recommend it. Otherwise, stay with a single product and just make a some kind of differentiation to it. Another question from Oscar. If we live in the UK, can I sell in the US? Is it too late because there are too many people in the US? So there's two ways to look at that. Yes, the US market is the most oversaturated market out of all the markets right now. It is also by far the largest market. So it can handle a lot of that saturation. Um, no market is bad because there's too many people. It just makes you have to think better and think more business-like. And that's where the differentiation comes in and, and finding solutions to problems in the market. Um, you know, if you find solutions to a problem, you can sell basically anywhere against anyone as long as you are the one solving that problem. All right. So we are about 27 minutes in. I think it's time for the first giveaway and first trivia question. So I want to know if there's any Italians in the house. Do we have anyone from Italy in the house or anyone who lived in Italy and moved somewhere else? No Italians, no Italians in the house. All right, but the first trivia question is going to be, how do you call a pie in Italian? <clears throat> so who's going to be first? Who's going to be first? Whoever answers first will get either um, this cool Kevin David VIP shirt or Kevin David's Unfair Advantage uh, book. You will have the option to choose. Looks like Simon will have family there. Well, you should know then. <clears throat> torts, torta, torts, torta, no. Those are not correct. It is not pie. It is not slice. I like Nintendo's answer. <laughs> and we have a winner. Rose Lutzes, pizza. That's correct. So pizza in Italian is pie. Fun fact, though. <laughs> but that is, that is correct. So uh, Rose, yeah, to, to, to be fair, torta is, is pie in Italian. <laughs> what originated pizza? Pizza that's, uh, according to trivia, I would say it's pizza. Yeah, Jonathan, uh, you're correct too, but unfortunately too late. So Rosa uh, is the winner of the first uh, giveaway. So you will have a choice to select this cool Kevin David VIP t-shirt or 
Um, his book, <clears throat> Unfair Advantage from Kevin David, if you wanna learn on how to build your Amazon business. So if, um, if someone from the team can please uh, reach out to Rosé who says and help him with the giveaway, that would be awesome. Thank you guys. All right, let's uh, let's continue with the questions. I know you guys have a lot of lot of questions, so please uh, put them into into the chat box so we can uh, answer as many as we can. I think we had one up here and I missed it. Let's see. Yeah, here. I think Sue had one. Uh, question from Sue: I need advice about how to get started. I need advice about how to choose a winning product uh, that will sell. I'm nervous about outsourcing from China. So Sue, I think. Uh, I can answer this as well. So once again, if you guys want to join that um, training call with Zombase, where uh, we introduce you to Zombase and <clears throat> welcome you to our family, we will be talking about you know product research, how to find the winning product, how you can find that OPA, which is one product away, um, and build your Amazon business up. We can talk about you know sourcing from China as well. So any questions you have, uh, you can you know ask me. Uh, on those calls as well, uh, and I would be more than happy to help. So once again, if someone can, from the team can please share the link to sign up for that free training call, uh, I would appreciate it. I'll say, I'm going to add add some on to that. I know a lot of people get worried about sourcing out of China and that kind of stuff when it, when it comes to doing this for the first time. There is a, a right way and a wrong way to deal with China. Um, don't just buy a product and hope for the best. Uh, get an inspection company over there uh, to inspect your product, inspect your factory that you're using. Um, spend the three, four hundred bucks on that. Um, it'll it'll save you a ton of money in the long run and allow you to have a little bit more um, uh, faith in, in in what you're doing. Actually, I can bring something up right now since we're already talking about China and sourcing. We actually have some testimonials here from, you know, our customers from Zombase and Kevin Davids and, you know, Blackbud students. They are, you know, sourcing from from China and they're actually. Well, let me just remove this comment here really quickly. So I got it, Chris. Cool. There we go. Thanks, Justin. <clears throat> So some testimonials, right, about uh, our students. And most of these products will be sourced out of China. So, uh, you know, we have a lot of success. Uh, and like Justin said, if you do it the right way, if you approach the manufacturers in China the right way, uh, there is really no uh, need for fear. Uh, and usually that fear is something that is going to block you in proceeding in this business. So definitely put that aside. Um, if you want to join that, you know, Zombase free training call in, Definitely, any fear you have, any questions you have, I would be more than happy to help you guys um, when it comes to that. So let's just get back to questions here. I have a lot of pizza comments that I have to shuffle through. <laughs> All right, to see here from Neaton. Um, to open a UK account from US, do I need to set up an LLC and EIN, T, uh, EIN uh, et cetera, like in US, or the process is different? So, so the process in the UK is different. Um, I'm not a UK expert by any means. Um, I know you need to get VAT registered if you're going to have a revenue over 80,000, and that's kind of the, uh, the extent of my UK knowledge. But, but there is a, a process in place similar to what the US has with EINs and LLCs. Jefferson thinks it's stupid, probably, <laughs> that the pie is pizza in Italian. I, I assume that's the comment for that. <clears throat> Sue, I don't have an idea how to do that. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll definitely uh, teach you. Do you know if anyone is on the, on the call from the team who can I know share Omar was. I know Yomar was earlier. There, I got it. Okay. <clears throat> do I use a company called um, V Trust to do to do my inspections? If, if that's what you're asking, I'm pretty sure you were the the question about sourcing out of China. Yeah, 
Did I miss that one? Probably. No, it was it was the one that we we scrolled back up for. No, don't don't outsource from the deep web. Yeah, stay away from there. <laughs> yeah, you want to stay away from that. I figured I'll point that out. <clears throat> and we have a comment from Richard. Let's see what it says. I'm also nervous investing in case uh, it don't go anywhere. This has been on my mind for a while, but it's getting uh, started. Getting, yeah, so getting started is the hardest part. Um, anytime you're starting a new business, whether whether it's your first business, your fifth business, or your seventh business, it don't matter. Getting started is the hardest part of doing anything. It's stepping into the unknown. It's starting something that you don't know if it's going to be successful. But you'll never know if it's going to be successful if you don't take that first step. Um, there's, there's ways to protect yourself a little bit. Um, it's just a matter of taking that step um, and, and doing it. You, you, you will get there. We have a question from Jomar. Uh, when will be Zonbase available for non-English speaking regions? Are you asking for Zonbase support for non-English speaking regions or for the, um, the actual like product research in the UAE and stuff? We, we, we do do Canada and the UK currently. Um, we don't offer outside of that. Uh, I don't have a timeline for that either. All right, let's see. I'm not sure if this is going to fit on the screen, but I'll read it out from Sue. Uh, so every day I have, everything I have ordered from Facebook that came from China turned out to be crap. Uh, I ordered a handheld chainsaw, and they sent me a junky little hacksaw, and it took three months to arrive. That is why. So, so that's part of the stigma and getting over with, with stuff like this, because there are a lot of Chinese companies who offer that kind of stuff, especially in Facebook ads, because they know people like like us are going to buy stuff. I buy stuff off Facebook all the time. But I, I tend to look at where the company originates from. Um, and if it's a US-based company, I'll order. And if it's Chinese, I will decide based on other reviews. Um, but I will tell you that the, the stuff I have produced out of China is good quality. It's You just got to find a manufacturer that can handle it. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nathan said, Sue, that's completely drop shipping. Um, yeah, it, it, it definitely is. Yep, yeah, um, for sure. It, 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 actually, it, it might not always be, but a lot of the times it is. Um, it might actually be the Chinese companies in, in some cases. Um, I've, I've seen that a lot lately. Uh, I keep getting ads for dinosaur stuff for my son. And those could be also also just sellers that generally don't care about their customers. Uh, you know, they just put a Facebook ad. They're trying to sell something that they never even touched or felt, or you know, and uh, they just want to get over people. So yeah, you're gonna have a lot of those on on Facebook for sure. But they don't last long because Facebook has uh, what's it called that review program or uh, yeah. So, so much eventually, I'll get booted off Amazon. Yeah. I got booted off one of my Facebook accounts because somebody tried telling me I was a scam. Um, it happens. I sent in all my paperwork and said, hey, obviously I'm not. We've, we've done you know, $250,000 with you guys over the past year. Um, and we, we have one, but because one person said the word scam in our, in our, in our Facebook post, um, we got nailed, but it happens. <clears throat> Question from Keanu. Hello, how can I recognize a good manufacturer that can make a good quality product before sampling the product? Ask for a video walkthrough. Yeah. Um, when, when you're talking to your to your sales rep, um, a couple of things I look for is, is how well my sales rep communicates with me. Typically, the, the sales reps that communicate better have better products. Um, the second thing I'll do before I order a sample is I'll ask for a video walkthrough to look at their manufacturing process, 
and to see the quality of their products. Um, so I'll usually ask for them to, to have a handful of products that I can, I can see in the walkthrough and have them do what I need from them, um, whether it's opening stuff up or, or stuff like that. <clears throat> Next question we have from Simo. Uh, what are the risks for people from African countries, like myself uh, from Morocco, to start an Amazon business? If your country is accepted by Amazon, uh, there's I don't think there's so much as a risk. Um, I don't know all of the out of U.S. rules when it comes to that. Um, so, so take a look at Amazon.com and the 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 seller allowance on where you where you can be from. We have a question from Tyler. Um, let's see here. So, what is a there we go? What is the typical lunch budget you can expect? You know, Tyler, you're going to sit here and make me make everybody be afraid. Um, so typically, and I'm going to scare you guys and then I'm going to bring you guys all back. Um, so typically we, we recommend 50 to a hundred dollars a day. I know that sounds like a ton of money. Um, now, now, now keep in mind, now, now we're going to reel back. Keep in mind two things. One, you are not going to be spending 50 to hundred dollars every day. If you're spending 50 to hundred dollars every day, there's a good chance that you have sales coming back the opposite way. So it does offset that. And three, you need to remember that launching is not a profitable process. You, you need to expect to lose money in your launch. It's to build your organic ranking to make long-term profitable income um, where you don't have to run high A cost P PPC all the time. So keep that in mind. Another question from Sue we have here. I love that we have a lot of engagement for from, from several people. I ordered, I ordered a solar generator and they sent me uh, was a couple of crappy solar panels that don't even work. That cost me 180 Who do you trust? Stay off AliExpress and stay on Alibaba and look for manufacturers. Yeah, solar panels, definitely an Amazon order, not a Facebook ad order. <laughs> All right, guys, shoot us with some questions. We uh, we want to answer any questions you have regarding, you know, Amazon, Zombase, whatever comes to your mind, feel, feel like. You know, if, if, if there's something you guys want me to cover on a, on a Facebook Live like this, to throw it in the comments so I can keep it in mind. And, and we can do like a, a, a webinar based here. You know, let's, let's jump into, into this for a while. Uh, Keanu, that is actually correct. So he said, I heard that now we could only reorder 200 units to refill. Uh, so you can you can order more than 200. You only can send 200 to Amazon. You can use what's called yeah. 3PLs or third-party logistics companies, or if your product's small enough, send it to your house. All right, question from Ken. Uh, that's a new person. Welcome. Uh, how much do you need uh, to have to buy your first product and scale quickly? How many different products would you say would be safe on your first purchase? Start with one. Um, Amazon's a beast to learn. Um, and the more you tax yourself with multiple products, the more you're going to have to learn in a hurry. Uh, so I always recommend start with one, learn the process, and then scale. Yeah, and guys, just like Justin said, if you have any suggestions, what you would like us to cover on these uh, calls, you know, we can prepare for next Thursday. Give us some suggestion, put it into the comment uh, or the chat box, and uh, you know, we'll read through them and uh, trying to prepare something for for the next call next Thursday. So, <clears throat> right. So the next question from Neaton is, what are the best ways to differentiate your product? So, so what I like to do is um, I go and look at my competition. I'll look at three and four star reviews to see what people are asking for um, as far as getting products, you know, with something or I really love this product, but I wish it did this or I wish it came this way or I wish it had this. Um, I'll take a look at those as one of my 
one of my ways. Um, the second way I look for differentiating a product is if I see a product at home that I say, I could use this product to solve this problem if I just changed this and then I would change that. Um, those are the two things that I, I really look for when it comes to differentiating and, and how to differentiate. Don't look at one and two star reviews. It's always about the product being broken. Three and four is the way to go. Question from, let's see, Oscar. If uh, Amazon FBA, why not something like Shopify drop shipping on Amazon? I need to pay for ads. You'll need to pay for ads on Shopify as well. They're two different business models. Um, both work. Um, I'll be 100% blunt. I'm not a Shopify guy, but I, but I am a big guy about selling on my own website. So much like the Shopify method. I sell on Amazon. I sell on my own website. I sell on walmart.com. You can expand. Um, and and I, I do like the Shopify method because I do get a lot more of the customer information and then I can remarket and, and do do all that kind of stuff as well. But Amazon has all your customers here. You don't got to go find them. Yep. Yeah. So that's, that's the biggest that's, that's, advantage. That, that's, that's why Amazon started. <clears throat> Question from Tyler. Um, any thoughts on inventory management? That is a skill worth learning. Um, figure out what your turnover time is versus what your lead time is um, and how fast your product sells during certain cycles of the month. You will find that it changes um, over time. It's, it's something that's going to be super hard for new sellers, Tyler. Um, I know you guys probably get asked that a lot in, your, in the classes. Um, but in the beginning, it is going to be extremely hard. They're going to be stuck with 200. Um, find a good 3PL and, and, and kind of move from there. And guys, make sure you stick around till the end uh, of the of the stream because we will be giving away uh, hundred dollars today. So, to the next lucky winner. <clears throat> next question from Shay: uh, Do you have any tips on how to avoid hijackers? Um, make sure your product is well differentiated, and then brand registry through a trademark is is your best bet. And then Keanu asks, is there any, is there going to be lives like this every Thursday? Yes, guys. So every Thursday, 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Um, just once again, uh, let me put that up right here. <clears throat> so you guys want to make sure that you click on your notifications um, in the Kevin David group and his Facebook, uh, Facebook group and also his YouTube channel. Uh, that way you get notified every time we go live. Uh, so just make sure you click on that notification bell. Then you're going to be notified every time we go live. <clears throat> so you can just tune in. Okay. Let's see. Let's see here. I guess I just clicked on it by mistake. I'll yeah, just go one up. <clears throat> so Kathy's asking, do you recommend selling niche products or basic everyday items or more or less expensive items? So I'm big into getting into the niches um, unless you're going into wholesale. If, you, if you're going to do the wholesale method, then, then basic everyday items are perfect. But if, if you're going private label, try to try to do something more niche specific. Great question from uh, Sue. What is your opinion on, on Oberlo uh, for outsourcing? Are there any American companies that you trust? Well, Oberlo is more of a dropshipping company for the most part. Yeah. Um, you can use ThomasNet to look at American companies, but typically speaking, you're going to pay more um, coming out of the States. Um, my one outside the typical norm, um, of saying that would if you are selling to a niche that is willing to pay more for a US made good than, than stay in the US, um, thomasnet.com is, is a good uh, way to find um, some US manufacturers. But once again, Google's you're going to be your best friend there as well. Question from Neaton uh, Any advice on 2020 taxes? No, um, I am not a CPA. <laughs> Uh, yep, I always say the same thing. Yep. 
make sure you keep good records. There's my, there's my, uh, my, uh, my advice. Yeah, if you guys can just, you know, have a track record of your expenses and and everything that you invest into your business, definitely you're gonna make your CPA's job easier as well uh, when it comes to that. So. <clears throat> Keanu, would you prefer to use Shopify or WordPress to create your website? Personally, I like WordPress better, but a lot of people will tell you the exact opposite. Um, as long as you know what you're doing with SEO and HTML coding, you're, I, I like WordPress. Uh, question from Danny, uh, is Amazon buying AMC? <laughs> I just heard rumors of this today, actually. So maybe. Probably rumors, yep. Uh, Let's see, question from Alex from YouTube. Uh, first YouTube question, I think, or maybe second. Oh, we've got a few. We've got a yeah. few. How, many year, uh, how many years did it take you to be successful? So uh, about 13 months um, to, to really get the hang of things and, and, and get rolling. But you, you can do it quicker. I, I did it without, without a course and without any kind of mentorship or anything like that. I, I just kind of took business knowledge and, and applied it. Uh, let's see here. Steven, uh, please do not post stuff like that. We will be blocking you, so I'm just going to delete that comment. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Kimberly, can you sell on Amazon? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Can you sell on Amazon if I'm residing outside of the U.S.? Specific countries can. Um, you just need to make sure that your country is listed there. There are plenty of ways around it that I don't know. If you, if you ask that in one of the Facebook groups, you're going to get a ton of answers. And then we have a great question from Tyler. Uh, Zombies is a great tool. Are there any additional features Zombies will be making this year? We are looking at launching a few new features. Stay tuned to these lives, and you guys will be the first ones to know once we make them public. Um, but we are working on a couple different things within Zombase uh, to help our sellers out and make it better for you guys. All right. Steven is getting blocked. All right. <clears throat> Next question from Neaton. Any recommendation? Any recommendations for good expense tracker software? I am a uh, QuickBooks guy through and through, but that's because I use QuickBooks in every one of my companies. I'm trying to reconnect to Facebook. Did we lost connection on Facebook? Uh, not that I see, but we could have. I, I see both both sides. Okay, cool. I just got notified here, but yeah, just keep keep trudging through. We we still have the same amount of viewers. We got to still be live. <clears throat> All right. Next question for Oscar: Do you use some influencer marketing, like from Instagram, to promo uh, your Amazon products? If my product is something that I think could benefit from an uh, uh, an influencer, yes, um, and you you can really dig through Amazon or Instagram, uh, especially with that, um, and and do. You know, as long as you do your due diligence to make sure that the influencer is matched up with what your target market is, it, it, it can be very beneficial. I am starting to wonder if we lost it because I haven't seen the question come in. Any of our Facebook watchers, can you post a comment to let us know that you're still there? And we still got YouTube, so. Um, well, it looks like it's, I don't know. It looks like it's still up here, but okay. Next question from YouTube. Uh, is it better to lower a price increase uh, sales and continue with a set advertising budget per keyword, or is it better to sell at the normal price and spend more on advertising? I would I would spend at your normal, normal price and advertise. If you can do it that way, it's much better. Um, if you have to run a coupon or something to gain the velocity, then then make that move. Uh, 
Once again, guys, can someone just from Facebook make a comment or confirm that you can still see us and hear us? Um, because we are not sure if we lost the broadcast. Might be time to do the giveaway, Chris. Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, if Facebook cannot hear us, I wanna. Um, I guess we'll do the giveaway for everybody who's watching on YouTube. So here it is. Let's type up the question. Should be an easy one. An easy hunt, though. Let me let me answer for Tima's question first. Um, okay. You do need to run ads on Amazon. It's called Amazon PPC. Uh, it's pay per click advertising for the most part. Um, it helps you get ranked. When when you first launch your new product, you're going to be at the very bottom. Uh, you need to get your product shown in front of in front of your page one guys. All right, guys. So for all of you YouTubers that are still tuned in and following us. Yeah, I think we did lose. Yeah, I think we lost. Next. Yeah. All right. So, what is the biggest country in the world, or which country is the biggest in the world? And we have a winner, Yorel Flores said Russia. That is correct. So, Yorel, you won a hundred dollars. Congratulations. As I'll have uh, reach out to to support at zonbase.com and and let them know that you were the winner. I will let let our team know, Chris. Um, okay. Uh, you're will beat you, Alex. According to our to, according to the comments. You were close, though. You were, you were sick. Yeah, Alex, you were close, but unfortunately, <laughs> your L was faster. All right, guys, that is it for this week. Um, sorry that we lost Facebook at some point in time, it looks like, but um, come join us every Thursday. Ask questions. You know, I'll, I'll be here to answer anything you guys need. And, and like Chris said, get on Zonbase and, and get in those training calls. Um, you know, Chris does a lot of them, and then I, I do them once you're registered inside Zombase. So come and join us, get in there, and uh, and, and come ask whatever you guys need. Um, you know, don't act like I'm, I'm not going to answer questions or anything like that. We're here to help you guys, and we want to see you guys all grow. Yeah. The more you grow, the more we're going to grow. So that is our long-term goal. So thank you, guys, uh, everybody who was here with us today, uh, tuned in. Join me and Justin. Uh, once again, we will be here every Thursday, 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, get ready. Um, once again, in the in maybe the comment section, even after the broadcast, you can put your suggestions for us, what you guys want us to talk about, um, and then we can prepare for the next call. Um, so once again, thank you, everybody, and have a wonderful day.